Browns at the Saints in a game where Taysom Hill, yes, Taysom Hill had seven carries for 138 yards, three touchdowns. He also caught eight passes for 50 yards. We got to hear from Taysom Hill after his big day where he was the best player in fantasy football this weekend. Why didn't you block me kicks to Uh I don't know. They did a good job. They did a good job. It's obviously never never been a secret and we've we've done these things in the past and it's it's been successful. So certainly in a four minute situation. Um, it's one of those things that's that's been advantageous for us. And you know, Clint Clint called, you know, a great game and he created a lot of unique opportunities for me to make plays when you're running the ball well and you know your head it's creates more opportunities that way but um you know hopefully something that we can continue to build on Taysom Hill 41.5 fantasy points that's with an interception as well yeah it's <laughs> it's the most by a tight end <laughs> since Mark Andrews in 2021 uh, I, I mean number one player in fantasy football as we enter, he does have tight end eligibility in many league platforms. He drinks for free today. Absolutely. For sure, he does. Of course, I, by the way, I faced him in a league where I really needed to win. I'm facing him in a league. I'm going to need a Monday Night Miracle to overcome it. Um, and I was texting with a guy, uh, my friend Todd, and I'm just like, you're killing with Taysom Hill. He goes, I only put him in because Kittle was out. <laughs> I'm like, you know, like. It's a story for anyone that started Taysom yeah, Hill. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, by the injuries. way, at the beginning of the year, Denny Carter pitched me Taysom Hill mm. as a potential ride or die candidate. And, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, he was only 11 weeks too early. Yeah. I drafted him in the League of Assholes as my second tight end. And then, like, you know, in the middle of the season when he got hurt and, we just have such short benches in the league. I had to waive them. So, of course, I didn't get them. Uh, I didn't enjoy the 41 and a half points in our, uh, in our <laughs> league of assholes as well. Very fr I'm just, and I'm, and the reason I'm venting this is just because, you know what? What I just went through is what everyone, Taysom Hill has been on more fantasy teams than probably any other player in the history of fantasy football because everyone takes a couple of weeks with Taysom Hill. Yeah. And then see if like, this could happen. Yeah, let's see if this could happen. And they, ah, and then they get frustrated. And they, anyway, so. Kudos if you manage to start to ha pick up and enjoy Taysom Hill's epic, epic performance. He just did it in all, you know, he ran, he threw, he caught, you know, unbelievable he's game. He's 34 Taysom years Hill. old, and he's, he has games like this as a skill player. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really just, unbelievable. It's, uh, it's kind of, he's such a strange kind of phenomenon. It, I, he's like the different players, but he's kind of the spiritual successor to Percy Harvin in a way, where it's like any like anything is possible right. on a given play, and he's just he's so unique and can't really be fit into any box even though we put him in the tight end box technically yeah, but I mean it's it was fascinating I mean, to me that just the Saints were able to have this type of day offensively with how bad they were for so long but I think like it's a reminder that Derek Carr for all his sins he's not the most popular guy not the most exciting quarterback uh, he's probably everyone likes Derek Carr but not popular as a NFL superstar or anything but he's still a very competent quarterback and he can commandeer a pretty solid offense yeah he's, he's somehow made lost in the Taysom Hill hype is the fact that Marquez Valdez Scantling has another big well, game. <laughs> like it's just, anyway, so silly. Anyway, they're on a bye next week. So um, uh, congrats to everyone that had Taysom Hill, but uh, you won't have him next week as the Saints are on a bye. Other side of the ball here, famous Jameis did Jameis Winston things. Like it wasn't pretty as well, but he now has at least 23 fantasy points in two of the last three. He's averaging 44 pass attempts per game. They're just throwing it all over the place as well. Um, but not to club said quiet day for club said the client the, the club must have been closed because it was Jerry Judy um, very quietly uh, Jerry he now he has in his three games with Jameis Winston Jerry Judy averaging 17.8 fantasy points per game has a 23% target share uh, you know he's become a thing yep. he's absolutely become a thing Elijah Moore had a nice game as well yeah, Jerry Judy is the number one receiver in a competent offense is Jameis such like he has the worst 395 yard games in NFL oh, history? I mean, but he was fine. He wasn't the problem yesterday, but still, it's not yeah, it's not reflective. Uh, yeah, tough game for Nick Chubb. I think uh, game script didn't work there. And, and credit the Saints, they came out time. to play. Yeah, they yeah. did. Yep. Yeah, they they uh, they came out to play. I still standing by. Uh, club said, and it was a nice game for David and Joku, as expected. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. 
You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own Fantasy Football Happy Hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.